Hey guys, Ben Egley here. I'm with Joe M. We're going to talk today about a drill that I really like. It's to build confidence in setting up our takedowns. Now, as Jiu Jitsu has kind of progressed very recently over the years to sports Jiu Jitsu, a lot of guard pulling and things like that, which definitely served their purpose. But takedowns are really important for Jiu Jitsu, for MMA, especially if you are a ground guy, you need to be able to get the guy to the ground. We need to be drilling our takedowns. We need to have two or three really good takedowns that we can hit often. But even more important is we need to be able to set them up. We need to be able to see the opening so that we can enter there. Doesn't matter if you have a great double leg in drilling, if you can't set it up in practice, you'll never get it. So we're gonna talk about a drill to kind of build that confidence so that we can see those openings to shoot our takedown. So this drill has a lot of different names. It kind of depends on where you come from. What well, we called this in my first Jiu Jitsu gym, so I had already had a wrestling background. We call it Chasing Chickens, which is kind of a funny name. It's been called a lot of different things I've heard from different people from different states, etc. Um, in the movie Beverly Hills Ninja, if you haven't seen it, you're not old enough. Great movie. Uh, Chris Farley's character said you need to be able to rip the head off of a chicken before you can rip the head off of a man. So I always think of that when I think of this drill. But Chasing Chickens, um, we're going to just try to set up our takedowns. So shooting our takedowns, not our throws at the moment. So the first part of this goal, the goal of this drill, Chasing the Chickens, the chickens are going to be the knees, is I just want to use um, my movement and my fakes to set up a theoretical shot to touch the knee. So this is kind of level one. For people that don't have any takedowns, this is good for warming up. So Joe and I are just gonna be in a good stance. Again, the only goal is to kind of touch the knee while keeping a good posture, good stance. So we wanna stay low. If we're shooting takedowns, we need to be low. If we wanna throw, we need to stand tall. So if we're just kind of messing around, we're staying low. For now, we wanna have minimal grips because that can come later. This is a great nogi as well, but I just wanna be able to try to touch his knee and he wants to be able to try to touch mine etc. And I want to try to make sure that he doesn't touch it. I can set up with a head fake. Okay, notice when we are shooting for these things, we're changing elevation, no fancy footwork yet. I'm just trying to keep good posture. So in this drill, what will happen is we want to keep it as realistic as possible. If Joe were to really reach from far away, this is another thing this drill helps with. You don't really want to shoot a takedown unless you can touch the guy. And I would say if you're in a staggered stance, you don't want to be, uh, shoot unless you can touch him with your back arm. So if Joe does a really long reach for this in, the, uh, in this drill, I want to remind him not to do that by giving him a little bit of a snap down. So you'll never be able to take somebody down with one arm from far away. So if he does shoot a really bad one, I should be able to move, kind of remind him, hey, that's a little bit too far. So first step in this uh, drill, especially if we don't have any takedowns at all, is just what we were doing. It's just kind of minimal fakes, trying to stay low in a good position and just work on touching that knee whenever possible, okay? So from there, a step up from that would be to add some more grips. So this works great, gi or no gi, but now we can kind of work our grips a little bit. For a takedown, you want to have, in the gi, two grips and you really only want your opponent to have one. So working that same kind of stuff, if I get two grips and he only has one, here, I should be able to touch his leg. Notice again how I'm changing elevations as I go. I won't be able to shoot a takedown if I touch his knee like this and where he's a little bit lower than me, there's no way I'd be able to take him down. So I need to get lower than him. If I can pull him down and he rises up, I can touch his knee. So that's the other, that's kind of the second level up is to add some more intense grips. And we're looking to find the inside grip. So if Joe gets inside of me, Okay, I want to try to get inside the pin, break his grips. Okay, use a lot of motion. So, forward and back, pushing and pulling is great. Circling is great. So again, level one, pretty easy. Minimal contact with the hands, just tapping. Level two, a little bit more aggressive grip fighting. And level three is kind of really simulating the takedowns if you know them. So, this would be adding our rock overs, our sweep singles, and things like that. So. A little bit more realistic, Joe and I here. This will be basically all the way through a takedown except for taking it to the ground. So full commitment to the shot, a little more realistic. Two hands on one leg. From here, we're working.
because we can both shoot, especially that one, we can both shoot pretty hard. Again, I'm looking for the setup. The setup's not gonna be there for a very long time, just like a lot of our jits moves from the ground. You notice one of my favorites is snap down and they come up, boom, and go. It happens in the blink of an eye. What's good about this drill is it's a good warm up, and you saw that was pretty fast paced. We get right into it, we're going. He doesn't have to worry though about me throwing him across the room. We can go pretty fast paced. If we keep that pace, it's pretty good for conditioning as well. But what we're just looking for is looking to be able to get close enough to touch those knees with either hand, eventually working actual shots. But we just need to build that confidence to get in and remind ourselves again, if we're a bad partner, we don't want to be reaching for those shots. If they do reach with one hand, give them a little bit of a snap down, keep that head up. That's going to protect you from guillotines, all kinds of other stuff. So this is a great drill. It's important to know takedowns, especially for those of us that do MMA. If you want to work your ground game, you got to be able to get the guy to the ground. Great for self-defense as well in a street fight. If you needed to take the guy down to work your game, you can. So practice your techniques. This is a fun drill. See what you think. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. Go out there and practice your takedowns. you got to set them up.